Have you ever had a difficult time looking up a specific value in a table in Excel? Well, me too. But thankfully, Excel makes our lives easier. Hey, this is Nestor Adriansen. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. And also I'm going to teach you how to connect the resulting data into a pivot table. But before we do that, let's make sure that you have subscribed to this channel because I share tips and tricks in Excel on a weekly basis and you don't want to miss anything. All right, no more talking and let's dive into the exercise. So for this particular exercise, I have two different tables. On the left, I have the claims table. On the right, we have the fulfillment table. For the fulfillment table, we don't have the claim channel. And our job is basically to find those values. Right here, we have two different questions that we need to answer for this exercise, okay? So the first question is, what is the claim channel for the product shipped? And the second question is, how to insert a pivot table that summarizes product shipped and claim channel? All right. So for the first question, we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. So the VLOOKUP function, it's basically an Excel function to look up and get information from a specific range of values. OK? And it has four different parts. So I'm going to walk you through those parts while I'm doing the exercise, OK? We type equal VLOOKUP. And then the first part is the lookup value. So for the lookup value, we have the claim number right here. And then we press comma. And then the second part is the table array. So for the table array, it's basically the range where the lookup value is located. So we are going to use the first table. And then we're going to select these three columns, shift, command, and down arrow to select the whole range. All right, there is something very important for the table array. The lookup value should always be in the first column in the range. So we know that the lookup value is claim number, and we know that it's in the first column right here so we are good okay please don't forget that all right the next part of the formula so we have the column index number so it's basically the column number in the range that contains the return value so we know that we are looking for claim channel and we know it's the third column so we put right there number three and then comma and then the last part is the range lookup. For the lookup range, we have two different options, true or false. We always should select false because we want to look for the exact match. And then we close parentheses. We hit enter. There you have it. Let's make sure that everything is there. It seems like everything is there. So we are good now. All right, let's hit a cell right here because I want to I wanna let you know something very important. For the range values right here, we should make sure that the range doesn't change. The range should be the same for every single cell under the VLOOKUP column, okay? So let's look for a different cell right here. To make sure that it's the same range. Yes, it's the same range. It doesn't change. So we are good. Let's check another one right here. Yeah, it seems like it's the same range. It doesn't change. So we are good there. OK. Now, the second question is how to insert a pivot table that summarizes products shipped and claim channel. All right. So, but let's make sure that we already answered that question and then 
we need to answer the second question right here. This is very simple. First step right here is to make sure that this data is in a table format. So it's already in a table format. And then let's insert the pivot table. Automatically, this data has been selected. And then let's select this the existing worksheet because we want to place right here. And then we hit OK. There you have it. And then our job is reorganize this data into the fields. We want to have product shipped into rows. We want to have the claim channel into columns. And also, we want to count the products shipped. It's count of products shipped. OK, so we are good. There is another detail right here. We don't care for the NA. So we unselect that. And then we only need to know the climb channel for the ship products. OK, so for example, we ship a TV, but we know that two claims were made at the store. OK, let's select microwave. And right here, we know that this claim was made through the website. Coffee maker right here. One claim was made at the store. And then the other claim was made through the website. OK. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoy this information. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell. If you want to get notifications and see you next time.